The blonde woman in front of us is incredibly lucky. She was driving alone on a wild goose chase. The car suddenly broke down. She reaches for her mobile phone to get help, but finds no signal at all. She takes a drink to cool off. She's soaked to the skin. She is about to change her clothes. A man suddenly appears beside her. Anna is startled. She quickly hides behind the car. The man said he meant no harm. With that he took off his shirt and checked the car. She watched as the man made it look easy. Anna was overjoyed. She finishes her thanks and prepares to drive away. She looked at the man's lonely figure. Anna couldn't bear to give him a ride. The old drivers must have thought. The rest of the story. It's going to be an action movie. But little did they know that underneath the man's handsome exterior, he has a pervert's heart. On the way. The two of them are laughing and talking to music, but the man immediately changes his tune as he talks. Not only did he flirt with her verbally, he even tried to play adult games with her. Anna realized that something was wrong. She decided to abandon the car and flee. The man reacted quickly. He grabbed Anna's arm. Then, he pulled out a two-meter long knife. He said he was a good man. He simply wanted to ask Anna to take him home. Anna had no other choice but to start the engine again. But she knew that if she did get to his house, she knew that if she got to his house, it was doubtful that she would get out alive. And that's when, Anna realized that the man wasn't wearing his seatbelt. She looked ahead at the warning sign. Anna had a plan in mind. She stepped on the gas. She plans to throw him off the road in the bend ahead. The man senses something is wrong. He immediately stepped forward to stop him. The car goes out of control. She crashed through the guardrail and down the valley. <laughs> When Anna opened her eyes again, she found herself hanging upside down. Her two-meter-long thighs were stuck firmly in place. The man had been thrown out of the car, dead or alive. First Anna's wounds were dressed briefly. Then she noticed a dagger in the distance. Anna reached for it. The man suddenly woke up. Just as Anna reached for it, the man came to her with it. He watched as Anna was stuck in a death grip. The man gloated. Then he was ready to turn around and leave. Anna screamed for help, but there was no one around to answer. Two days had passed. The car had run out of water and food. And that's when, Anna suddenly noticed the man looking at her with food in his hand. Anna begged the man to give her some food and look at her. But the man asked Anna to answer a few questions first. To survive Anna had to agree. As you can imagine, the man asks her some juvenile questions. And to add insult to injury, the man didn't give her food after listening. He did so, just to enjoy torturing Anna. Then he turned around again with the food and left. Night falls again. Anna couldn't take it anymore. She wrote a suicide note to her family. Then she built a fire from the car's debris. She then drifted off to sleep. But in the middle of the night, Anna was suddenly awakened by a group of cute little animals. Anna was terrified. She grabbed her keys and poked them frantically. She looked at the fire on the side, and then she looks at her trophy. You can just imagine the rest. Early the next morning, Anna is suddenly awakened by a vibrating phone. She's excited. She looked around. She found the phone covered in mud not far away. Anna picked it up with all her might and was about to call for help. But the man suddenly appears. She hid the phone in a hurry. Luckily, he doesn't find it. But sadly the phone rings again at that moment. The man immediately went for the phone. He then crushes the phone in front of Anna. Anna was devastated this time. She begged the man to help her. She would do anything. When the man heard this, he immediately came to his senses. He rummaged through his bag for all the tools he could find. Finally, he pulled out a broken saw and threw it at Anna. Anna asked him to give her something useful. But the man ignored her. He left again. Anna picked up the saw and tried to cut the seat. But before she could make two strokes, the saw was already falling apart. Anna is furious. Anna picks up the saw blade and aims it at her calf. But as the blade got closer, in the end, she couldn't bring herself to do it. Night falls again. By now, Anna is seriously dehydrated. She has no choice. Anna has no choice but to make her own water to quench her thirst. But just as she finishes her bottle, suddenly it rained heavily in the sky. Anna was in for a treat. She rushed to collect the rainwater and drink it all again. She thought she would have a moment of respite again. But then the radio in the car announces. A flash flood is about to overwhelm Anna's area. As the rain poured down, Anna kept honking her horn. A car on the road seems to have heard the noise. He immediately went down the hill to check the situation. But to his despair, it was no one else. It was the perverted man. The man saw that Anna wasn't moving. He grabbed a tree branch and poked her. He made sure Anna didn't respond. He leaned down and dug in. But just then, Anna
Hannah seizes the moment and strikes back. She not only stabbed the man in the body, she also took the opportunity to grab the car keys. With the keys in her hand, Anna immediately rang the alarm. She then threw the keys out again. This man is a vengeful man. The man was afraid of arousing suspicion. He got up and ran to the car. A police car happens to be passing by and the police officer gets out and asks why. The man simply dismisses it as broken down. The policeman saw that there was nothing unusual around. He took the man and left the area. At this moment, Anna, the cold. Icy rain is slapping her face. Warm tears mingle with the flood. The car was about to be submerged to save her life. Anna has no choice but to break her leg to survive. But sadly, she sawed her leg off for nothing. The water swept the car away instantly. The car door opens unexpectedly. Anna miraculously escapes. When she swam to the shore and looked back, the car was completely gone. Anna picked up a tree branch. She limped forward and walked for an unknown amount of time. She suddenly spotted a lighted wooden house. She was delighted. She thought to herself that she was finally saved, but she hadn't taken two steps. Suddenly the girl's screams came from inside the house. Anna hesitated for a moment and decided to go and see what was going on. But just then, something unexpected happened. Anna looks around you and sees that the place is full of traps. She cautiously uses a tree branch to try and make her way in. She looks through the window and finds the perverted man. She takes advantage of the man's abuse of the police. Anna sneaks into the house. First she takes the pistol from the table. Then she goes to the trapped girl's room and unties her. And that's when, there were footsteps outside the door. Anna immediately hid behind the door. When the man wasn't looking, she raised her gun and loaded it. You, you move, you breathe your death. The man reacted quickly and dodged Anna's shot. The two men struggled with each other. In the nick of time, Anna used her womanly skills. The man reacted quickly to avoid Anna's shot. Then she ran upstairs. The men followed her and immediately went after her. But Anna was nowhere to be found upstairs. Just as the man leans down to check, Anna attacked him from behind. Two men then slowly approached the man with their torches. They found that the man had been badly injured by the trap they had set. She looked at the man's pained expression. Anna began to taunt wildly. When you threw down a saw so I could cut my leg to survive, now I'll return the favor. With that, she kicked a dagger at the man. The man can only watch in pain as the two men, who were only prey, fade away. This story tells us never to mess with women, or she could kill you.